Mode episode number 31. And it's the final Monday Night Raw before the upcoming SummerSlam pay-per-view on June 26th. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, everybody, and what a lineup we have coming to you with your final pit stop for the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Coming up in tonight's main event, it's a special countdown to SummerSlam Tag Team Affair when the Messiah Seth Rollins, with his disciple Murphy, take on the SummerSlam main event. WWE Champion AJ Styles and Mr. Money in the Bank Edge. Will they coexist and build momentum to SummerSlam, or will Seth Rollins build momentum towards his matchup with Mustafa Ali on June 26th? But we kick things off tonight with the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship of the World, in action, she will fight Bianca Belair at SummerSlam, but tonight she's got her hands full with Mrs. Money in the Bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Coming up on June 26th on pay-per-view at SummerSlam, Shotzi will go one-on-one -on -one with the EST of WWE Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship. This will be their third meeting in the last number of months. Both times, Bianca Belair has got the best of Shotzi, but Shotzi has been all on the up and up for weeks. Victories over Candice LeRae and Io Shirai, and who can forget how Shotzi earned the number one contendership for SummerSlam when she won that epic Fatal 4-Way elimination matchup a couple of weeks ago on main event, defeating Casey Catanzaro, Ember Moon, and Shayna Baszler on that night. Shotzi has been on a roll, but can she ride that momentum into SummerSlam on June 26th and top of the woman who has beat her in the past, the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Belair has been on a roll for several months. Nobody has been able to, to, to dethrone her as the WWE Women's Champion of the World. But will Shotzi be the one to take the next step and become the new Women's Champion? The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, pulled down that briefcase a number of months ago, or excuse me, a number of weeks ago, at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in Philadelphia. The Empress of Tomorrow holds a guaranteed WWE Women's Championship opportunity anytime, any place, for up to one year. It's the first time we're going to see her in action since she pulled down that briefcase at Money in the Bank. Let's see if Asuka can continue to build momentum for herself and her WWE career since returning a number of months ago. This should be a great contest here. This is a huge task for Shotzi tonight. If she can beat Asuka, boy, what momentum she will have going into SummerSlam. Asuka, on the other hand, looking to keep her momentum going. Looking to take down the number one contender tonight and possibly prove that she's next in line for the WWE Women's Championship now that she holds money in the bank. This will be a great way to kick us off here tonight as Asuka with the German suplex over Shotzi to take her down. Of course, still to come tonight, as we mentioned, it's a huge main event right here on Monday Night Roll. A special countdown to SummerSlam tag team matchup. Wait a minute, Asuka go for the cover here, but Shotzi, there's the rope break for you. And in that main event, as we mentioned, a countdown to SummerSlam affair. The Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, with his disciple Murphy. And of course, coming up at SummerSlam, Seth Rollins is going to be battling Mustafa Ali in that steel cage matchup. Those two men tonight are going to have their hands full. With the SummerSlam main event, Mr. Money in the Bank Edge. Look at that, Asuka takes down Shotzi. Mr. Money in the Bank Edge, who will be cashing in that contract, announcing it ahead of time against WWE Champion AJ Styles this Sunday at SummerSlam. Those two men who have been at each other's throats the last couple of weeks are going to be forced to coexist here tonight. Let's see if they can get the job done for themselves and defeat Seth Rollins and Murphy. We'll find out in due time when we get to our main event this evening. Shotzi taking Asuka off her feet. This is a big match for Shotzi here. As we mentioned, her recent wins over Candice LeRae and Io Shirai a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Big time singles victories for Shotzi. And of course, overcoming not one, not two, but three women in that four-way encounter. Elimination style on main event a number of weeks ago to become the number one contender here. Look at Shotzi! A page at a Rey Mysterio's book. A little bit of the 619. Sends Asuka halfway across the ring. Great move by Shotzi there. Very innovative as she fouls it up with a kick to the gut. Goes for the senton. One of Shotzi's signature maneuvers there, and she hits it. She's 
looking good against the Empress of Tomorrow here. It's all about keeping the momentum going. Anything that can derail Shotzi is really going to knock her confidence going into SummerSlam against Bianca Belair. She's been on the up and up, winning after winning after winning. But she's got to keep it going here. And this is a huge task, her biggest task quite possible yet over these last couple of weeks. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. has been nothing short of victorious since coming back to the WWE in her Money in the Bank qualifying matchup almost two months ago. And where Asuka is, Mrs. Money in the Bank. She pulled down that contract in Philadelphia the last time we were on pay-per-view. One of her opponents on that night was her opponent here tonight, Shotzi. This is Asuka's first time in action since then. She's going to come back strong and prove why she may just be the next WWE Women's Champion whenever she decides to cash in that briefcase. Shotzi's looking good right now, hanging in there with the Empress of Tomorrow. A nice elbow. Look at Shotzi who's going for that sliced bread there, but Asuka pushes her off. Nice drop kick takes Shotzi off her feet. And for the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Blair has got her eyes set on this matchup as Asuka takes over the number one contender there. Bianca's got to be scouting Shotzi. They have faced twice before in the ring, once on Raw, once on Main Event a number of months ago here in the WWE. Both times Bianca Blair picked up the victory, but Shotzi was an incredible task for Bianca to defeat on those nights. As she's about to defeat Asuka here, nice submission hold. Going to out-submission one of the submission specialists of WWE, Asuka. But looks like Asuka's found a reversal. A couple of shots and takes Shotzi down. As I was mentioning, Bianca Blair and Shotzi meeting before in the ring. And it was so impressive both times. And Asuka, hip attack on Shotzi. And Asuka about to pick up a big win over the number one contender, but Shotzi gets the shoulder up. Shotzi re reaching down deep, showing the resilience. And that's something Shotzi has really grown with these last number of months. Ever since those matches with Bianca Blair, she's digging deeper. She's fighting harder. She's showing resilience. She's got more confidence inside the ring. And she's able to survive a attack like that as Asuka hit her with that hip attack. And now Shotzi is back on the offense here. Shotzi is showing growth, but will it be enough to defeat Bianca Belair on June 26? And will it be enough to defeat Asuka here tonight? And a nice belly to belly. Had the arms hooked there as well. Shotzi had nowhere to go. The Empress of Tomorrow, who's been in control for, I'd say, the majority of this contest, has Asuka. And now look at this guy. Look to tap out Shotzi here. A little bit of arm break. And she's not watching the ring awareness. But a rope break right there, possibly shaving Shotzi's chance of victory in this contest. Asuka, now look at this, double under hook, and, I, and just delivers that butt buster, if you will, right down to the canvas. Asuka is really starting to get into the flow of the last few minutes. You saw Shotzi showing a sign of life after kicking out of that hip attack, but Asuka's really been all over. The Empress of Tomorrow is looking to make, not necessarily a name for herself, but make a statement in Shotzi's dispense. Now look at this, this would be a Gurry, but Asuka's right there to counter. Every time Shotzi tries to mount some offense, the Empress is right there to cut her off. This is one of the reasons why Asuka was able to fight, fight through the pain and be resilient in Philadelphia when she pulled down the Money in the Bank contract all those weeks ago. Shotzi trying to fight back, but yet again, Asuka with those double knees takes Shotzi off her feet. And one thing about Asuka is this match, is she's just completely unloading on Shotzi. She is not necessarily focusing on one body part here. She is just picking apart Shotzi piece by piece in this contest. Especially with maneuvers like this, just nothing fancy, just beating her down is the Empress. This is Money in the Bank, like it or not, is looking good in this contest. She could be looking for hip attack number two here. This is not gonna be good, and Shotzi may have just got her lights turned off. And that's gonna do it. No, Shotzi gets the shoulder up. The number one contender surviving not one but two hip attacks from Asuka. And Shotzi right there bounces up with the knee, follows it up with a drop kick. The number one contender is feeling urgent here. You sense that from Shotzi as she takes Asuka off her feet. And now Shotzi's headed to the top rope. She could be looking. And now she goes for the big time splash instead. Possibly could have been looking at that. But that coffin drop and instead she selects for the splash. Nonetheless, an effective maneuver by Shotzi as Oscar hits her with that knee. Shotzi grabbing a hold, whipping Oscar off here. 
Oscar with the counter. And once again, sends Shotzi for a ride. What a back and forth contest this is starting to turn into. And what a way to kick off the last Monday Night Raw before the SummerSlam pay-per-view. As Asuka thinks she's got this matchup here. She's going into the cover on the number one contender. But Shotzi gets the shoulder up yet again. Shotzi is showing the heart and showing the fight in this contest. Bianca Belair's got to realize this ain't the same woman that she fought a few months ago. This is an evolved, a different Shotzi. And she's going to pick up the winner for Asuka here. But Asuka gets the shoulder up. Shotzi's hanging in this fight. Asuka's really done a number on her in this match. But look at this. Shotzi's going to send her for a ride. Tilt to whirl. Head scissors. Asuka down to the canvas. Shotzi's got to keep the momentum going here. She's got to keep the fight and keep the attack on the Empress. She's got her days in the corner. Follows it up with a drop kick. And Asuka might be down and out. Shotzi's eyeing her up. Hits that running senton. Again, one of Sachi's signature maneuvers. Into the cover she goes. Not enough just yet. Shotzi's starting to build some momentum here, but Asuka's definitely been the aggressor in the majority of the match. She's not done yet, but Shotzi's on the top with the coffin drop. Shotzi with the big time fall out of the cover. Not enough. Not enough just yet. Misses Money in the Bank. Showing how she is one of the toughest women in the WWE. For the last number of years, Asuka hang in off that flurry from Shotzi in the coffin drop. Oh, look at this. Shotzi out of nowhere grabs a hold, hits the slice bread, one of her signature maneuvers. And that may be enough to knock out Asuka. And it is! What a win for the number one contender! Shotzi continuing build momentum after momentum, win after win. And Bianca Belair is going to have her hands filled on Sunday, June 26, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the YouTube channel, where Shotzi is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam! We're back live here on Monday Night Raw. And one of NXT's brightest stars, Cameron Grimes, is here. And he's set for one-on-one -on -one action. Big opportunity for the young Cameron Grimes in his WWE career. His first appearance on Monday Night Raw. But he is set one-on-one -on -one against all-day Austin Theory, the man who is going to fight the franchise, John Cena, on June 26th at SummerSlam. Big opportunity for Cameron Grimes if he can knock off Austin Theory here. But Austin Theory is going to be looking to build momentum, or I should say, continue to build momentum as he's been on a roll as of late, heading into SummerSlam. And here comes the self-proclaimed future of the... What the hell is this guy doing? Austin Theory is coming out here in a John Cena t-shirt and a John Cena hat and jorts. Oh my goodness. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! Is this Austin Theory's way of building hype towards his matchup with John Cena on June 26th? Because I, I don't know what the intentions are for all day Austin Theory here. He's coming out here looking like a goof in the jorts and the t-shirt, an old John Cena t-shirt and the hat. Kind of looks like John Cena. I don't, I don't know what he's going on here, man. But the self-proclaimed future of the WWE, all day Austin Theory, I mean, clearly is trying to send a message to the franchise. John Cena, who I'm sure has got his eyes on Austin Theory these last number of weeks, and he does here tonight. But regardless, Cameron Grimes is in action against Austin Theory. Thank God he took off the jorts. There's a reserve for John Cena. John Cena only here. And here we go with our matchup on Raw. Cameron Grimes taking it to Austin Theory. The second the bell rings here. And yes, as you saw it, as we talked about, all day Austin Theory, he was calling out the franchise, John Cena. And John Cena accepted the challenge. And John Cena will make his return to the WWE on June 26th at SummerSlam, where he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the self-proclaimed future of the WWE for the first time ever. It's going to be a big-time match coming up at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. SummerSlam's shaping up to be an incredible show. Nine matches signed. Every championship going to be on the line. 
A couple of other big matches as well. We're going to run down the card a little later tonight for the SummerSlam pay-per-view that will be live at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on June 26th, Sunday, right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And it will be a live premiere. You are not going to want to miss out on SummerSlam. Austin Theory taking it to the NXT upstar Cameron Grimes here. Grab it a hold. Showcasing his strength with the powerbomb. Also, Theory's last number of weeks. Nice shooting star press. One of Theory's best maneuvers in his arsenal. Cameron Grimes gets the shoulder up. But Austin Theory's been on quite a roll the last couple of weeks. Defeated Kushida, R Truth. Picked up a recent victory over John Morrison as well. Now he's got this matchup against Cameron Grimes as he looks towards John Cena coming up at SummerSlam. John Cena, who Obviously, he's a 16-time world champion, a decorated future Hall of Famer of the WWE. It's been some time since John Cena has been inside the squared circle, so we've got to wonder if there's going to be any ring rust for the franchise player when it comes to fighting Austin Theory at SummerSlam, who's been extremely active here in the WWE as of late. He hasn't even hit the prime of his career yet. This young man has got all the tools to be great. He's got all the tools to be a main eventer and truly be the future and the now of the WWE. But as we've talked about before, and we'll continue to talk about every time we see Austin Theory inside of the ring, Cameron Grimes, man, just knocked Theory's lights out there. My goodness, Theory off his feet. Grimes is looking good. Look at this, Cameron Grimes, ripcord knee on Austin Theory. Not looking to put him away yet, goes for the kick, and Austin Theory cutting off his momentum. And he falls over the shooting star with Grimes, excuse me, gets the knees up. And Cameron Grimes is taking this opportunity and running with it here. Austin Theory's got to chill the momentum of Cameron Grimes. As we were about to mention, it's about getting the W's inside of the ring. And that's what Austin Theory continues to need to do if he wants to truly be the future and the now of the WWE. He's got to get the W's inside the ring. He's been doing it as of late, but the competition is only going to get more tough as he continues his growth in his WWE career. And clearly, the competition is a little bit tough tonight for Austin Theory. Cameron Grimes is low, no slouch. He's a former NXT North American champion. And Austin Theory may be down and out. Cameron Grimes going to steal a huge win. Now Austin Theory gets the shoulder up. My goodness, what a showcase here. Cameron Grimes in his first match here on Monday Night Raw. Taking it to Austin Theory, but Theory with that pump kick. Gonna knock Grimes' lights out, but there he is, trying to hang in this fight. Trying to go back and forth here. Austin Theory's got to be shaking his boots a little bit. Probably wasn't expecting the flurry of offense from Grimes. Trails him up, and Grimes eats the canvas. Shooting star press. Theory's going back to that maneuver a couple of times in this match, but it works. But it's not enough to put him away. Last thing Austin Theory wants to do is take a loss hanging into his biggest match of his career at SummerSlam versus John Cena. Austin Theory better do everything he can to walk away with a victory here because a loss here tonight is not going to put him in the winning or I should say in the momentum side of things. Coming up for SummerSlam. Austin Theory into the cover. Looking to pick up the victory here. No, Cameron Grimes hangs in it. Austin Theory's got to be wondering what the hell he's got to do put the man from NXT away. As we mentioned, he's a former NXT North American champion, former million dollar champion, was Cameron Grimes. Oh, wait a minute, Theory sending Grimes for a ride out of nowhere. And that buddy just shut the lights out on the newcomer to Raw for good. Austin Theory picks up the victory. Cameron Grimes putting up a fight, but all day Austin Theory hung in there. And at the end of the day, in the W column, all day Austin Theory picks up a much needed Here victory. Winner, but will he get the victory coming up on June 26 when he goes one on one with John Cena? Couple of other contests here on Monday Night Raw tonight as John Morrison is set for action against the Archer, Damian Priest. Morrison looking to get a much needed victory in his WWE career, and Ivar is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Drew Gulak right here on Raw. 
Damian Priest picks up the win over John Morrison. Morrison's bad luck continues, but Damian Priest gets a victory after his loss against Edge a number of weeks ago. And Ivar, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, builds the momentum for the Viking Raiders heading into SummerSlam versus the Mysterios as Ivar picks up the singles victory one-on-one -on -one versus Drew Gulak right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Well, coming up in the final Universe Mode main event before SummerSlam, Randy Orton is out for vengeance against all members of the Hurt Business, and that includes MVP. Will MVP put a stop to Randy Orton before he gets to Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam, or will Randy Orton's dominance over the Hurt Business continue? We're going to find out on main event, the final main event before SummerSlam. But speaking of SummerSlam, the man who is set for an Extreme Rules contest against Jeff Hardy coming up on June 26th. The Prince, Finn Balor, is set for one-on-one -on -one action right here, right now, on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. It's a collision that has been months in the making. And we are finally going to get the conclusion on June 26th at SummerSlam in an Extreme Rules match. The Charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy, is going to feel like home in his style of contest, but he's going one-on-one -on -one with not just Finn Balor, but the Demon Finn Balor, as the Prince Finn Balor has promised the return of the Demon coming up at SummerSlam. What a contest that is going to be. Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy's rivalry dates all the way back to before our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. Finn Balor snapped against Jeff Hardy after a loss on Monday Night Raw. He claimed that Jeff Hardy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, but Jeff Hardy wanted retribution. The two men fought at backlash where Finn Balor got the victory. They continued on a collision course to Money in the Bank, where the two men joined AJ Styles in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Jeff Hardy took the pinfall on that night, and Finn Balor, of course, pointed the blame at Hardy for the loss. The chaos continued the next night on Monday Night Raw, where Finn Balor laid out Jeff Hardy in the backstage area, putting him through a table, sending him right down to the concrete floor. Jeff Hardy got a measure of retribution when he cost Finn Balor a matchup against Dominic Dijakovic on main event, where he snuck up on Finn Balor with a steel chair from behind. We were set to conclude the rivalry a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, but the brawl started in the locker room before we could even get to the bell. Which brings us to SummerSlam, where the two men are going to be inside the ring, and there's going to be no disqualifications, no holds barred. There must be a winner when there is Extreme Rules. But before SummerSlam, Finn Balor's got his hands full with a man making his return to action tonight. The Swiss Superman, Cesaro, is back here on Raw for the first time in a couple of months, and he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Prince. And his opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! It's been a little while since we've seen Cesaro inside the squared circle. Tonight is his return to action, and for Cesaro, it's about starting from the bottom and building your way back up the ranks to future championship opportunities here in the WWE. With Finn Balor's mind towards SummerSlam, Cesaro has an opportunity to take advantage tonight and pick up a big time victory over the Prince. Nonetheless here, no matter who walks away with their hand raised, it should be an exciting singles contest to keep us rolling here on the final Monday Night Raw before the biggest party of the summer SummerSlam coming up on June 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And here we go, set for our next contest, Finn Balor one-on-one. -on -one with Cesaro, right here, right now on Monday Night Raw, and Cesaro immediately taking the action to Finn Balor. Both men in incredible shape. Cesaro's definitely got the strength and the size over the Prince here, but Finn Balor has made a career kind of chopping people down to his size and using his strikes and his speed to his advantage. Again, Finn Balor, wait a minute, look at this. Cesaro using that strength that we just talked about, muscling Finn Balor over top of his head here and Finn Balor takes a fall what a press slam from the Swiss Superman Finn Balor as we mentioned his mind is going to be on SummerSlam coming up he knows he's got Jeff Hardy 
And Jeff Hardy's favorite type of matchup, an Extreme Rules contest. And Balor promised that he's going to bring the bring the demon to Phoenix, Arizona. It ain't going to be the prince. He's going to let the demon handle the work of Jeff Hardy. But regardless, you know Finn Balor's mind is already in Phoenix. And Cesaro's got a big opportunity here tonight to get back to some winning ways in his return to action here tonight. And so far, so good for Cesaro. Unloading on Balor here, and I think we know what's coming. Big swing time. Finn Balor goes for a ride. Cesaro looking good since the opening bell. And a caged animal being unleashed here tonight. Now he's got Finn Balor in a bit of predicament. Submission hold here. Finn Balor, look at this, using the arms to kind of escape there. Takes Cesaro down. And now Balor unloading a little bit. And a swing blade on Cesaro. Balor looking good. Finn Balor not going to want to take a loss going into the SummerSlam pay-per-view. He wants to be feeling 100% and feeling on top of the world as he takes down Cesaro there. And that may be enough to put Cesaro away. Balor into the cover. Cesaro gets the shoulder up. Remember, we of course just saw Jeff Hardy in action on our last episode of Main Event. We went one-on-one -on -one with Apollo Crews. Jeff Hardy picking up the win there. That'll be the last time we see Jeff in action before SummerSlam. So Jeff riding a high of momentum into the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Finn Balor looking to do the same here tonight. Cesaro looking to make sure it's not at his expense. And he grabs a hold. And look at this, Finn Balor in a precarious predicament. And he yet again goes for a ride. Cesaro using his strength and size to his advantage once again in this contest, but it's not enough just yet to put Finn Balor away. Nonetheless, Cesaro is looking great since the opening bell. I thought he was going to go for the big swing there, but instead looks like we've got a little sharpshooter here. Cesaro can be possibly getting the submission victory. A victory is a victory, but Finn Balor gets to the ropes. Saved by the rope break is the demon. Or I should say the prince. We're going to see the demon at SummerSlam. Cesaro once again going to look to use that strength, muscling Finn Balor over top the head. We saw this right before, or excuse me, right after the opening bell, and Balor eats the canvas again. Balor trying to fight back here. Hitting that Pele kick, takes Cesaro off his feet, falls up with the elbow. I'm sure the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy has got his eyes locked on the Prince. Those two men have been nothing but thorns in the sides of each other for months. They're gonna get an extreme conclusion. An extreme rules matchup, man. Things are gonna get dangerous, things are gonna get hot and heavy. Oh, and Finn Balor with that drop kick on Cesaro. Cesaro's down, Finn Balor. It's gonna be the time to take advantage while he's dazed and confused. Sends the big man to the corner. Oh, Finn Balor with a knife edge chop. Does it again. Balor, signature offense here from the Prince with that drop kick. That's a concussion worthy drop kick if I ever saw one. Cesaro's down, Finn Balor's heading out top. I think we know what the Prince may be eyeing up here. To the ground. And Cesaro down and out. Finn Balor with the exclamation point on this contest, and he gets the victory. Cesaro putting up a great fight in his return to action here tonight. But the Prince is feeling dominant, and the Prince is feeling extreme going into SummerSlam. It's going to be a big time contest coming up at the SummerSlam pay per view. Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, absolutely anything goes in that Extreme Rules affair. Cesaro looking great here tonight. His first match back in quite a while, but it wasn't enough to keep the Prince down. He threw everything he had. It just wasn't his night. It's Finn Balor hit the coup de grace for the win. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. And for Finn Balor, it's now, wait, wait, wait a minute here. I was about to say it's all lies on SummerSlam, but looks like Jeff Hardy's coming down to the ring to get himself an early preview of the Extreme Rules contest, taking Finn Balor off his feet. Jeff Hardy's been waiting for this for weeks. Remember the last time we saw these two come to blows? Finn Balor left Jeff Hardy lying up and laying down at the lights on the stage. Jeff unloading on the Prince. We're getting a SummerSlam preview here. Jeff goes, oh, wait a minute, Finn Balor sidestepping it. Finn Balor, oh, wait a minute here. Takes advantage of Jeff Hardy and he lays him out. Jeff Hardy is looking to get the edge. But Finn Balor's adrenaline still pumping from the contest. 
Jeff Hardy's down and out with it needs the canvas. Jeff Hardy tried to get the edge, but Finn Balor lays him out. But nonetheless, the conclusion is nearing. On June 26, Extreme Rules, the Demon fights the Enigma. Anything goes at SummerSlam. And also coming up to the SummerSlam pay-per-view, the one and only Ricochet earned himself a championship opportunity, and he will face Santos Escobar, the leader of the Gato del Fantasma for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Also on the line, the WWE World Tag Team Championships. Eric and Ivar, who's been on a roll as of late, take on another team who's been on a roll, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, two big-time tag teams colliding for the richest tag team goal in the business. Randy Orton has been on the hunt for the man who took out Riddle. He believes it is the almighty Bobby Lashley, and he's going to get the match he wants. The almighty Lashley versus the Viper, one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam. The Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who just retained his title over Dominic Dijakovic last week, goes into a triple threat matchup against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne and the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre, triple threat affair. The WWE Women's Championship's on the line. Shotzi, who's riding the high of the momentum from her win earlier tonight, takes on the EST of the WWE. Bianca Belair in their third meeting. This time, the gold's on the line. All day Austin Theory, the future versus the franchise. Will Theory be able to topple John Cena and spoil his return to action? Or will John Cena shut the mouth of Austin Theory once and for all? Inside a steel cage. The Messiah Seth Rollins. Will he finally be able to defeat Mustafa Ali? Or will Mustafa Ali get the revenge he's been looking for over Rollins when these two men are locked inside the steel? And in the main event of SummerSlam, the WWE Championship is on the line. Edge is cashing in the Money in the Bank contract against the WWE Champion, AJ Styles. What is going to happen when these two men meet in a WrestleMania rematch with the gold on the line? June 26, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. You are not going to want to miss the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. But it is time for your countdown to SummerSlam Tag Team Extravaganza Main Event. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 430 pounds, Seth Rollins and Murphy. We want to take you back to the last time we saw Mustafa Ali here on Monday Night Raw. It was last week. Cameras cut to the backstage, which saw Seth Rollins getting ahead of SummerSlam and laying out Mustafa Ali in the interview area. Mustafa Ali has promised that he will return to SummerSlam, but he will not be in the arena until then, as Seth Rollins clearly did a number on Ali and caused some injuries. Ali wants to go to SummerSlam 100%, but after moves like this, the steel chair to the head, and then right here, Rollins sending Ali's face right into the concrete. Ali is home, nursing injuries, and he will be back when SummerSlam comes to Phoenix. What a night is going to be, I cannot wait to see. Mustafa Ali get his hands on Seth Rollins inside the steel cage, a rivalry that's been brewing for months. Seth Rollins has been unable to defeat Mustafa Ali every time they have met inside the ring. Rollins has finally snapped, and he's taken the fight to Ali. Ali really has nothing yet to, left to prove that he could beat Seth Rollins. At this point, it's a measure of revenge for Ali. But here comes one half of the SummerSlam main event. The WWE Champion of the World, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Can he coexist with his opponent on June 26 here tonight? And their opponents first from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the The phenomenal AJ Styles. You want to talk about momentum. You want to talk about riding a high. This man has been on the roll of a lifetime ever since winning the WWE Championship. He marched through a number one contenders tournament to earn the right to fight then champion Bobby Lashley at Backlash where he won the WWE Championship. 
He retained that title over Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy at Money in the Bank. Singles, victories, all in between. And now his next challenger comes through the Rated R Superstar Edge, who has announced his cash in ahead of time at SummerSlam. It is a WrestleMania rematch. AJ Styles defeated Edge at WrestleMania in their first meeting. And now it's time for match number two coming up on June 26th. And this man is looking to get his hand raised from bell to bell the second time. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. It was back in Philadelphia where Edge pulled down the Money in the Bank contract. Edge could have easily waited till AJ Styles was in a worse predicament, at worst for wear, beat down after a contest and did what he's done twice in the past, capitalized on an advantage, the ultimate opportunist. And he could have cashed in the money in the bank at any given moment to defeat AJ Styles and took away the WWE Championship. But it's about more than just winning the WWE Championship for Edge. He wants the win back from WrestleMania. He wants to prove that he is better than the phenomenal AJ Styles. That is why he has announced his cash in ahead of time. And that is why we are going to see that WrestleMania rematch this time with the WWE Championship on the line coming up at SummerSlam in the main event. I cannot wait to see who is going to walk away with the richest prize in the business today coming up on June 26th. But that is then. This is now. And it is time for your tag team affair in this main event contest. And here we go, Seth Rollins and Murphy versus AJ Styles and Edge. And I want to take you guys back to a couple of weeks ago. It was a six-man tag team match on WWE Main Event. Which saw Seth Rollins, Murphy, and Austin Theory in the ring. As they took on AJ Styles, Mustafa Ali, and Mansoor. And on that night, AJ Styles, Ali, and Mansoor picked up the win in that six-man tag team matchup. And who got the win over who in said contest? It was AJ Styles pinning Seth Rollins. So you know Rollins is going to have that in the back of his head here as he's got some recent history with the Phenomenal One. And he's going to be looking to get that win back over the WWE Champion here tonight. AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. I'm sure Seth Rollins would love to get himself a WWE Championship opportunity, but he's got to face the facts right now. Because even though he's had a couple of wins in between, he's taken a lot of big losses, and majority as of late have been to Mustafa Ali, which is why he has got his hands full with Ali coming up at SummerSlam in that steel cage match. It all started for them in the number one contenders tournament that we talked about earlier that AJ Styles went on to win when Ali defeated Rollins in the first round. Rollins semi-costing Mustafa Ali, his second round affair against Drew McIntyre, which then led to a tag team affair at the Backlash pay-per-view. We saw Seth Rollins and Murphy take it a loss to Mustafa Ali and the returning Dominic Dijakovic. And they remember the next time Ali and Rollins met inside the ring was right here on Raw in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup, which Mustafa Ali won again on that night. Rollins then disappeared for a number of weeks, and the next time we saw him was the Raw after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. He made his return after Ali defeated Austin Theory inside the ring. And he absolutely put the hurt on Mustafa Ali. Kind of like Murphy's doing AJ here, and AJ gets the shoulder up. There's a big score to settle between Ali and Seth Rollins. Ali thought he settled the score, excuse me, once and for all. That six-man tag team match that we alluded to a number of weeks ago. It was Seth Rollins again who took things to an, another level attacking Mustafa Ali on multiple occasions. And now Ali wants vengeance. But Rollins trying to put him on the shelf for good. Which is why the two men are going to be locked inside a steel cage. No re regular wrestling match this time. It will be a steel cage affair. There will be no escapes inside that steel cage either. It is simply there to keep Rollins and Ali inside the ring. It can only be won by pinfall or submission. Will that steel cage match be at SummerSlam? AJ taking Murphy over here as we get back to the contest inside of the ring. Murphy grabbing a hold of the WWE Champion. You got three men in here right now. We got big time matches coming up at SummerSlam, especially Edge and AJ Styles as they're both in here at the current moment. It'll be interesting to see how this tag team matchup plays out. Nobody's going to want to risk injury before their main event like matches at SummerSlam. As AJ Styles tags in the Rated R Superstar Edge, Rollins is back in. Edge and Rollins, a lot of history between those two men, dating back to last year. And again, the big question in this matchup, as you see AJ tagged in Edge, is 
Are they going to be able to continue to work together as we get into the later rounds of this tag team matchup? Only time will tell as Edge takes the Messiah off his feet. Rated our superstar grabbing a hold. Edge has done nothing but catch W's literally since he returned to the WWE. You remember Edge? Oh, wait a minute. Rollins taking down Edge there. Big time move. Remember it was after WrestleMania where AJ Styles defeated Edge. And Edge went away for a couple of weeks. He then made his return to Raw after Backlash. He defeated Drew McIntyre in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Next time we saw Edge was in a big six-man tag team match in the final Raw before Money in the Bank where he was on the winning side of things as well. Edge, of course, went on to win the Money in the Bank briefcase at the pay-per-view, which is why he will be getting that matchup with AJ Styles on, on June 26th at SummerSlam. Of course, last time we saw Edge inside the ring as well, it was one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest here in Raw, and the Rated R Superstar picked up the victory. So Edge has been absolutely dominant. The last loss in his career was that one to AJ Styles at WrestleMania, which he's looking to avenge, coming up on June 26th. Murphy in here now is a big time shot to the rated R superstar. Edge grabbing a hold. Murphy's dazed and confused. Look at this. Edge's got him tied up in the ropes. Mr. Money in the Bank hits it. Nice cross body there by Edge. Now Edge, look at this. Oh, it could be looking. Wait a minute. Execution on the disciple. And Edge is going to pick up the victory here. I'm not watching the ring awareness there. Unintentional rope break. Aids the Disciple Murphy. Edge sends him over the top rope. But wait a minute, AJ, AJ taking matters into his own hands there. Pulling Murphy off the apron. I'm sure, it's not what Edge had in mind. And a little bit of a stare down. And Murphy takes advantage, takes Edge off his feet. AJ and Edge. I know this isn't SummerSlam. I know no championships are on the line here. But it's about building momentum. And wait a minute, Seth Rollins grabs a hold, hits the pedigree on Mr. Money in the Bank. And AJ able to get the shoulder up. It's Seth Rollins almost walking away with the victory there. Rollins going to follow it up. Curb stomp to the Raider North Superstar. Rollins into the cover. And Ed Edge gets the shoulder up. Oh, wait a minute. Edge got the shoulder up, and AJ Styles is hopped off the apron and is standing here at ringside, and Murphy just got tagged in. Now, wait a minute, you don't want to see this thing break down here as Edge is in there taking a beating. I mean, I'm sure necessarily AJ wouldn't mind seeing Edge not going to SummerSlam 100%. There's a level of honor and loyalty there. I really don't think this is the smart thing to do for AJ Styles. At least not the right thing to do as Seth Rollins is continuing to work over the Rated R Superstar. As AJ Styles is not on the apron here, therefore he cannot be tagged in. He's just watching Edge try to fend off Seth Rollins here. I know Edge can definitely uh, hold his own in there, but it's still not the point that he's supposed to have a tag team partner on the apron. Edge trying to defeat Seth Rollins. Not enough there as he's not... Really been on the offense the last number of minutes. I just taken a couple of big time shots from Murphy as well as Seth Rollins. He's going to need everything, possibly including a tag team partner, to fight back into this. But AJ Styles seemingly doesn't seem interested in this affair. Both guys going for the shot there, getting tangled up. Seth Rollins grabbing a hold. Could be going for possibly a Falcon Arrow there, but Edge with the spear out of nowhere on Seth Rollins. And where the hell is AJ Styles going? Well, Rollins gets the shoulder up. AJ, AJ's looking at Murphy here. And AJ knocking Murphy off the apron. I don't know what AJ Styles has got in mind, but clearly now he's getting into the ring. Edge is trying to work over Seth Rollins. This thing is breaking down just a little bit here as the WWE Champion AJ Styles is causing this matchup to go a little bit of disarray. Edge is in there, submission hold. Murphy's in, AJ Styles takes out Murphy. AJ Styles just doesn't know where he wants to, where his alliance lies in this matchup. Does he want to participate or does he want to walk out on edge? Murphy's out, down and out. AJ Styles is just watching his prime team partner get beat up here. Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins, though, grabbing a hold of the WWE Champion. Goes for the shot. A little bit of ripcord. Right hand from Rollins. Edge takes advantage and takes down Seth Rollins. 
No, wait a minute. Edge is eyeing up Seth. Could be looking for spear number two. Oh, and Rollins counters with the DDT. Rollins had it scaled at Edge. That could be all. Edge gets the shoulder up. The Disciple Murphy's down. The WWE Champion's down. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute here. Rollins hitting the ropes. Turb stomp for the second time in the match. Rollins into the cover. His partner's nowhere to be seen. And Seth Rollins and Murphy seal the victory in this tag team matchup. Clearly, AJ Styles was not interested for at least a moment there in helping Edge. He then seemingly wanted to help Edge, but Seth Rollins took advantage of the chaos. AJ Styles, the champion, was down. Seth Rollins hitting his second curb stomp of the matchup on Mr. Money in the Bank. And whether you like it or not, Rollins just building some big time momentum heading into SummerSlam right there. Here are your winners, Seth Rollins and Murphy. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen between AJ and Edge at SummerSlam. And as for Seth Rollins, he better have that smile on his face now because I don't know if it's still going to be there coming up on June 26th at SummerSlam. We will see you right back here on the YouTube channel. Thank you and good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.